doing. Hi, my name's Jacob, and I'm traveling around the world trying to find the coolest tree houses, cabins, and tiny houses. And today, that's taking us here to Iceland. It's very windy. <laughs> That's a good YouTube laugh. Thank you. That's a good YouTube laugh. Hang on, what am I supposed to say next? Okay. And tonight, we are staying in a glass cottage, famous for being able to see the northern lights from the comfort of your bed. I, however, am not sure that the weather is good enough to see that. I think it might be cloudy, but we'll see. I'm gonna go and have a cup of tea in the warm. Driving through Iceland's mountains, past glaciers and waterfalls on the way to the glass cottage, I couldn't help but realise that this was my best shot at seeing the northern lights. And all from a comfortable cottage made of glass. Let's hope we see them. You joined me on the moon, I think. <laughs> it literally feels like I'm on the moon, but I'm not. We're actually in a 500 square block of natural lava fields and it's absolutely bizarre it's like i'm on a different planet it's just insane but what is more insane is that that is my home for the night and that is what's called the glass cottage and my word is that spectacular I can't believe anyone's built anything here. <laughs> well, they weren't joking. It looks like it's made of about 90% glass. It is so isolated here. I feel like there's no other place you could put it because how could you get changed or have a shower or go to the toilet and it's just all glass? If there was any possibility of lots of other people being around, but there's not. We're on the moon. <laughs> that is just absolutely gorgeous in every way. You literally couldn't get anything more opposite than my cabin that I built than this. I can see glass and I can see a timber frame. In fact, I can see extremely thick glass and an extremely chunky timber frame. But I'm guessing this thing has to be strong because this place is harsh. Normally when I make these videos, I go right around the outside, filming it, talking about it, and then I go inside and do exactly the same thing again. In this one, however, you can sort of see the inside already. So maybe it's gonna be a particularly short film because <laughs> you've seen the inside. <laughs> I think we might carry on and pretend that uh, you haven't seen the inside yet though. So just work with me here. However, how can you not mention the inside? When that's your shower, and that's your toilet. Shower with a view. And a loo with a view. <laughs> I love it. I really, it's fantastic, but it's absolutely mad. If you were wondering if it really is this windy here, yes. <laughs> God, it's freezing. Bloody hell. I read that this cottage is supposed to be the perfect antidote to the frantic modern life that people now lead. And what better way to do that than in a hot tub? A hot tub under the northern lights, a hot tub under the stars, or a place to switch off. Here we are, the moment I've been waiting for ever since I stepped out of the car. Warmth. Sorry, the inside. That's what I'm really excited about, seeing the inside and being warm. Oh, it's warm. Oh, it's warm. Oh, I just got to get the camera after doing that. I get to go in, then I have to come back out again. I don't think I've ever enjoyed filming myself talk rubbish to a camera before. And certainly not when it's freezing cold with wind and ice pelting your face all the time. This place is rough, rugged, and it is absolutely Beautiful. And I don't know why I just spent so much time outside, because this is all glass. 
So I could have experienced all those things from the comfort of this warm light, obviously, <laughs> glass cottage. That's how nice and warm it is in here. I can go from five layers to one. And we're in the bedroom straight away. There's <laughs> so much glass. No curtains, no blinds. And it would make me think that there's no privacy, but of course there is. Because you can't see anything out there. Oh, God. This is so much fancier than my cabin. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this headboard was actually hand knitted by the owner and the person that designed all this. I mean, obvious points, spacious, with lots of light. <laughs> Who would have thought it? This is the moment that we've all been waiting for. <laughs> oh. It is such a big sky here. And I can't believe I get to see it from the comfort of my own bed. It is also extremely cloudy. <laughs> so, who knows if we'll actually get to see any sort of stars on all the lights, unlikely. There's no TV in here. There's no excess tech or anything which could drag you back to the modern world. Whilst you're here, you can relax, get away from it all, spend some time in nature whilst being warm and comfortable inside. I can just tell that they've put in so much effort into the very details of this place. The decor is classy and refined and Scandic in a way. I know we're not in Scandinavia, it's Iceland, and that's probably something you really not know how to say. From what I can work out, everything is as locally sourced as it possibly can be. These light installations are pieces of driftwood that were picked up from this river that runs through the lava fields here. This table is a piece of driftwood that they worked out actually came all the way from Russia, drifted to Iceland, and they picked it up, sawn it down, and have made a beautiful table from it. A weird moss thing? Don't know what to say about that. I'm, I'm guessing it's locally sourced. It looks beautiful. I don't know what it is. It's nicer than a picture though. I found the heater. Oh yes. I was reading that most of the year, this place is so well insulated, the sun for just a few hours is enough to heat this place completely on its own, which means it could be entirely self-sufficient. And that's just because of the sheer amount of glass. Does that make it a greenhouse? I don't know. But I suppose it's Iceland, so it's always quite cold. It's never particularly hot. There's not enough windows in my cabin. This is definitely making me realise that glass is good. Glass is good, glass is great. Oh man, this place is amazing. <laughs> this is so much crisper and probably better built than mine. I want to say something really professional um, about this space. But I just find the idea so funny of going to the toilet with a view. I mean, it's, why not? Why not if you're this isolated and no one can see? I'm pro my, my English pruneness is probably coming out, but I just feel, oh, it doesn't feel right. Yes, I am sorry. And no, I am not proud of myself. <laughs> oh my God, what am I doing? I've never filmed myself going to talk before and I hope I never do it again. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's so weird. It's so weird. I'm gonna go for the green. I love these green ones. This is bizarre. This is so bizarre. Oh dear Lord. The view is 
that river running right past this cottage. And the Icelandic lava fields. Um, I have to be honest now and reveal some tricks of the trade. Um, the camera is outside. I had to put the camera outside to film this shot. I am inside. I am wet. I am warm. I've got to go get that camera. Do I do it in the nude? Yes. Why not? There's nobody here. And now, <laughs> the moment we've all been waiting for. It's dark outside, the storm has stopped. It's time to see what we can see. I think light's off for this. Oh, come at me nice guy. Only joking. It's incredibly cloudy. <laughs> oh dear. I nearly saw a, a star. Very nearly. Very nearly. It's still beautiful and it is insanely windy out there. I think there's going to be a storm any moment. You do sort of feel outside though. And yet you feel so incredibly sheltered from that harsh landscape. Perhaps I'll wake up in the middle of the night to a room filled with green. It's almost definitely not going to happen. Still, what a place. And what a great day.